testimony continues right now, day number two of the Amber Geiger trial. We have live team coverage. Steve Pickett standing by after learning more about the judge overseeing this high profile case. But let's start with JD Miles inside the Crowley Courts building. JD, one witness today claims he heard two people speaking down a hallway near the spot where Amber Geiger shot and killed both of Jean before then seeing Geiger on the phone crying. What else did he have to say? That's right, Brooke. That witness actually also says he saw Amber Geiger walk outside of Botham Jean's apartment while making the 911 call. The witness is an apartment tenant um, who was a neighbor of Botham Jean. He says they had only met earlier that day when both were approached about a noise complaint from apartment management. Now, whether that noise complaint has anything to do with the shooting has been the subject of gossip, but never backed up by any evidence. Joshua, this is fine. We're not in the rush, okay? Yeah, we need a moment. Joshua Brown broke down on the witness stand after testifying about meeting Botham Jean on the day he was killed. He was a tenant at the Southside Flats and maybe the closest thing to a witness of the deadly encounter between Jean and former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger. No, I, think I, can't, I can't say I heard any, any, any type of words that I can make out. Brown says he heard no commands from Geiger before the gunshots. Do you recall uh, ever hearing someone say, hey, put your hands up in no. a loud talk? No, no, ma'am. Moments after the shooting, Dallas police officers arrived on the scene as this body cam video shows, which the jury watched along with Geiger. Inside Botham John's apartment, they found the 26 year old man fatally wounded and applied CPR. Prosecutors suggested during questioning that Geiger should have been tending to the dying man. What did you and Officer Blair begin to do immediately? Uh, CPR, first thing. Is that how you're trained? Yes, sir. Did you and your fellow officers stop for any reason? No, sir. Prosecutors also presented video showing Geiger's keys would not have unlocked John's apartment door and there would have been a red light flashing above the lock that they say should have warned her it was the wrong apartment. Prosecutors also introduced the 911 call on which Geiger repeatedly says she thought it was her apartment when she walked in. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I could have sworn I was on the third floor. And we also learned today that there were no drugs or alcohol in Geiger's blood when she was tested. On the evening of the shooting testimony, prosecution witnesses continue behind us. We'll have much more coming up at 6. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.